Hello everybody, it is Gifted Llama and welcome back to Pokemon Ruby. Alright, we have all the all the check marks checked. We have all the all our gear, all our stuff. I don't think there's anything I'm forgetting. We're gonna head out to the surf route. See what I did there? And uh, we're gonna train up. I don't even remember his name. What's his name? Alkagoomp. Uh, Alkagoomp. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> I taught him Shockwave, so water fights could be a bit easier, because he doesn't actually have any attacking electric moves this early. Um, so not an issue. I also gave him the Quick Loss, so he has an advantage in battle. Apparently not that much of an advantage. But... Oh my god! Wingull is flying in water, so this should be significant. Oh my gosh. Almost. Almost, dude. I have to switch out for a wild Pokemon battle. Come on. Ah, Supersonic? You really gonna do that to me? Right out of the box with this madness. Wait, why am I using Rock Smash? That's horrible. No, kill it though, so. <laughs> We're good. I'm not going to go to the Pokemon Center because I can just use a Super Potion. We're good. Like I said, it's going to be a bit of a rocky start getting him to a good place, but... Now see, because the water route is so wide open, like... Gotta make sure we get every nook and cranny so we get all the trainers. Alright, Tentacle. Even higher level, okay. Ow. How about a shockwave? What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, that's... Is that real? Tentacle is always so weird. Like, it doesn't behave like a normal water Pokemon. I think it's because it's also poison type. Still annoying, though. He's gonna kick my ass, right? Oh my gosh. I'm falling apart here. Ah, I don't like that. I like tentacle. Ah, uh, not the supersonic. Could we not? All right. Squee XD, let's send you out. I feel like we're just. We could just use a repel. But, like. Okay, have fun. Come on. Uh, Gust. Alright. Gosh, I have to divvy up the XP between three party members. Cool. Alright, trainer battle. Good. Meryl, alright. Feeling good. I'm able to get my shockwave off first. This is also good. Oh no, 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 no. Alright, let's get a shockwave out. Good news about shockwave is it never misses, so. But why is it doing so little damage? Am I really that weak? Alright, let's just keep pumping him out. If I can kill him with just. Aquagoomp. 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 <laughs> Tail whip, alright. Uh, if you want to do that. Oh, please kill it. Oh, I'd be so happy if he killed it. Kill it! Yes! Critical hits. Perfect. This is just what we needed. I have to level up from this. Come on. Yes! Perfect. This is great. This is so good. Alright, you know what? I, didn't, I said I wasn't going to do it, but I have to go back and heal. We're, we're so close, we might as well. Just to make sure everyone's on the same page. Ah, oh, it's kind of cool. <gasps> it's level 8! Perfect, that's just what I need, honestly. That's why I'm a good ego boost by destroying a level 8 tentacle. Once Aquagoomp gets his sea legs, we're gonna be unstoppable. You realize that? We're gonna be destroying the water route. And it's gonna come in handy too after Fortree, whenever it's literally open ocean. If you remember, after Fortree, it's literally just the rest of the game is open ocean. So, if we can get a sturdy electric type, we are gonna, like. I promise you, it'll more than make up for all these early grindings that we have to do. It's frustrating, I know, it's tedious, I know, but like, it'll be so worth it. 
and I never had an opportunity to raise an electric chop because I never did. Like, it was one of those things I always skipped over. So, like, to be able to just easily destroy water types, and to be frank, like, I've always loathed this part of the game. Um, the water parts. Because, like, it's cool and free and open and shit, but, like, because I never raise electric types, it's kind of frustrating. <laughs> I think something else is super effective against water as well. Um, maybe ice? Or is the other round? I don't know. I don't know. It makes sense, though. Oh, sure. Meryl. I think we can find Psyducks here, too. Good thing we're in Petalburg. We can actually get a couple things from here, too. Surfing. I'm gonna use the rollout on this, okay. Guess what? Uh, Shockwave. Every little bit of XP is gonna help us here. Oh my god, what? Shockwave. Okay, die. We have to heal again, are you serious? <laughs> Gosh. These episodes alone are going to extend the length of this Let's Play by leaps and bounds. <laughs> heal again. Let's heal again. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. And I think there's an item up here, too. I always forget about the water in Petalburg City. Yep. I don't think there's anything else. I mean, obviously there's the one connecting north of Old Dale to Mauville, but there's just another way to get to Mauville. We're gonna take the long surfer out because we want to get the XP. The XD XP. <laughs> okay. We're good. We got a level so far, so we're starting the progress. So we might have to. Good news is Duford Town. We can go back there soon. That's on the way. So we'll stop there and heal up. That'll be like our rest stop. While we, you know, hack and slash our way through all these goons. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch that out. So Shockwave is first. <gasps> Not a poison sting. <sighs> God damn it. Oh, We're just getting so unlucky. We're getting so unlucky. And hurt by poison. Yikes. Another poison sting? Is that necessary? You've already inflicted your damage upon me. I didn't kill you. Kidding me? Okay, how about, uh, just a tackle? I have to go back to the Pokemon Center. Mmm. Hey, we leveled up, though. Worth it. Worth it. Every little bit counts. Ah! I don't think we've ever been poisoned before in this lift play, so this is a first. It's a first. Like I said, it'll be worth it, trust me. I know, bear with me. <gasps> he fainted, Jesus, he's not strong enough. We really did need to go to the Pokemon Center. He's gonna hate us. Good thing I caught him and I didn't get him in a trade, otherwise he would hate us even more. He wouldn't do anything right. I mean, we have the badges, that he would behave at this low level, so... Maybe not, but still. Still, okay. Two levels so far, so we're actually making good progress. Two levels, we got two items from Petalburg City that we couldn't get before. So, although on the surface it may seem like we're just backtracking and fumbling around, but we're actually making solid progress. You're welcome. See, I'm a genius. I'm secretly a genius. Secretly. Very secret. It's such a secret that no one knows it. I don't even know it myself. <gasps> why does it have to be level 35? Why? Why? I'm gonna die now, right? Yeah, I'm just dead. Why does that? Why does that have to be level 35? Why? Why? why, why? <sighs> Only Squee XD is higher than that. That's ridiculous. That's what you have to be worried about. Like we fought a level eight a little bit ago, and now we're fighting a level 35. It's like, what can you do? What you have to just cower in fear. Oh my gosh! All right. Um. <laughs> Pokemon Center, once again. Ah! Jesus. Soon, soon I will enact my revenge on all the tentacles that hindered us in our progress. Once I have a Manectric and it's zapping people left and right, oh my gosh. We're gonna be unstoppable, I swear, one day. 
Honda. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to continue along the water route and hopefully make it to Doofer Town without getting our asses handed to us. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. It helps out a lot. Make sure you subscribe as well for more daily gaming videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.